the oh another Yeezy news too. You got the Yeezy Boost three eighty. Are you a big fan of these? I quite like these actually. I'm I'm not I'm not that against them. I, when I saw them at first, I wasn't that keen on them, but I quite like the shape. I quite like the look of them. Essentially, they look like a three fifty that I could wear. I think the Yeezy Boost three fifty at the time they came out, and even now, because um, I know some people that have them. Um, they're quite pointy and I think for somebody like myself that has quite wide feet um, they don't necessarily lend well to a person with wide long feet you tend to kind of have need to have a good you know I think Yeezy 50 might look only good up until maybe a size UK 10 and then again you have to make sure that you're quite tall and shit and got, have quite skinny legs so they don't look too clunky but I quite like the look of the 380s they probably combine the best of the of the 350 and maybe the 700s um, you've essentially got this weird sort of like um how do you call it? It's essentially like the, the back of the shoe is really raised quite high, which might remind me a little bit of the Nike runners that are out at the moment. And then the and then it kind of thins out towards the front. So you've got a little bit more of a thinner um, outsole towards the front of the shoe. Um, and again, an interesting pattern on top of it, kind of a camo inspired pattern. And then you've got the quintessential or the ink iconic sort of like Yeezy 350 stripe alongside the side of it. Again, no real branding on the outside. Quite in, quite in this, quite in this, quite under discreet or whatever that word is called um overall on the upper no real branding in terms of adas you can see on it but yeah it looked pretty cool so this is this article from sneaker freak it says the drop deals of adas easy boost 350 alien a set to be a huge finish to 2019 for the easy brand um a loaded release calendar headlined by the brand new easy 700 v3 and the 380 aliens okay well, what's the release calendar i didn't see this actually it's something i saw previously what else is coming out I think it might be that 700 that I previewed in another video before, didn't I, right? Okay, so this is the calendar for the free... Oh, wow, really? In December? That is amazing. I'm looking forward to that. So the Yeezy December schedule looks as follows. We have the Yeezy 350 V2 in the Yeezy Real. So you've got it's like a neon color. I'm not really a fan of that one. Um, then you've got the Yeezy 500 High, which looks really cool. Probably a, a, be a, better, a better representation of that model in the High than anything else. Then you've got the Yeezy 350 V2. In the other colorway, then you've got more 350 V2s, and then you've got this colorway, the the 700 V3, in the Azal that looks amazing. It reminds you of like a, a a car model shit, like a car, like maybe like you know those. What was that Audi shoe that Kobe wore back in the day? Do you remember that Reebok Audi shoe that they did back in the day? Or it reminds you, and again, I wouldn't be surprised whoever designed that Yeezy 700 V3 was some sort of former car designer or something of those, of those like it looks very very similar to that and you've got the Yeezy 700 in a carbon blue coming out as well so it looks like they're they're keeping the Yeezy 700 shit because i thought they were going to phase it out and then just keep giving you this for the Yeezy v2 and v3 which is interesting because you can't get the Yeezy 350 ogs anymore right they basically phase those out so you get different iterations of the Yeezy but with the 700 they've kind of kept the original shape but then still keep giving you the V2 and V3. Interested to see why they've decided to do that. Maybe because it's just popular overall. But anyway, back to the 380 um, Alien. The silhouette is beamed straight from outer space. Kanye West, a latest, was originally dubbed the 350 V3 before getting a last minute name change. Okay, cool. So it was meant to be a lineage of the 350, but now it's, 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 a, it's basically a progression or an evolution of, the, of that 350 shape, which makes more sense. Um, composed of a new prime knit pattern on the upper. Okay, awesome. And a hefty boost midsole. Yeah, it's definitely a hefty boost midsole. I like the fact that most of these shoes are very comfortable to wear. Maybe it goes back to where he's at the moment, Kanye, in terms of, you know, he likes hiking. He likes to take long walks to kind of clear his head and shit. So maybe that's probably part of the reason why these shoes are essentially very comfortable. Or maybe the fact that he's got Stephen Smith with him, who's, you know, was the head hunter at New Balance. And they're, you know, known for having probably the best walking shoe out at the moment. But I like the fact that you can necessarily walk around with them wherever, you know, as long as you want in a pair of users and you don't really get um fucked up feet all that lot of stuff so it says you had easy boost seven um easy boost sorry 380 alien is slated to hit the planet earth on november 16th for 230 dollars doesn't really say that on the list of, of options here though you don't really have it on there so i'm not sure where they got that information from maybe i'm incorrect but yeah okay they're saying it's going to come out on when's that november 16th so maybe in a couple of days really so keep an eye out for that i haven't seen anything online that indicates that on my on my end but you know maybe i'm not that well versed in it so if you guys are more aware than i am then please let me know but yeah interesting to see how that what happens with those um i'm interested to see what more colors you get out of them of course if they bring out black and white color you know your boy is completely on them like sonic but yeah they look really cool i'm a, I'm a big i like these if i was gonna wear a shoe like the 350 i think i prefer to wear a 380 i think that probably suits my uh foot 
and my style a bit more than maybe the 350 looks overall. And I just like the fact that they kind of, you know, they look like they point downwards. They kind of have that amazing, aggressive silhouette on them. So, yeah, a really big up Kanye with the tooling as well on the on the Yeezys, man. They all look so flat at the front of the forefoot. I love that. None of that kind of annoying Nike banana foot thing they had on the old retros back in the day. So that I'm very much impressed with. So, yeah, check those out if you're that way inclined. Yeezy Boost 380 Alien coming to you very, very soon.